most people are doing in church. Some people are confessing, depending on their religion. Some people are testifying, depending on their religion. This is how we portray us. Um, I just had uh, a birthday in July, and um, Al didn't come to my party, by the way. <laughs> um, I had a birthday in July, and my aunt, my mom's baby sister, um, she bought me a necklace and a watch. And let me tell you something. I've never had a birthday party. My aunt threw me a birthday party. I invited Justin. Justin didn't come either. But at least he talked to me on the phone, Al. <laughs> Justin's more of a friend than you are, Al. That's a cute he, 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 yeah, he, he talked to me on the phone. Yeah, yeah. He did that. I just, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying he did that. He told me happy birthday. I think he gave me $2, too. Yeah. Last I got a $2. Way, way. <laughs> way more than $2, Miss Angie. But anyway, here, listen. Um, and I'm, I want to share this with you guys before I go. Um, I, don't, I don't care how long I have to play and sing. If the next person is ready, fine. Um, but I, I do this all day not because I want to. If you go on my page, you'll find that it doesn't matter where I am. I want to sit there and sing. I'm going to stand there and sing. I get emotional, so I have to cut certain songs off um, because I can't write a song. If I do, I won't be able to go back and read it anyway. Blind. Um, not totally blind. Just um, I only have like 42% vision in my right eye. None in my left. And so I won't be able to go back and read a song. So that's why I made a statement on my page the other day. Um, some of the songs that you hear me sing, you're not going to hear it the same way. Because I don't memorize them verbatim. I just sing in the moment. And in this moment, I feel love. I feel um, um, generosity, hospitality, something you don't get everywhere you go. Um, this place takes me back home. So I said all of that to say this. I don't just sing. I share. And I care. Every time, every time. And so, um, Justin, I thank you for this outlet. I thank you for even mentioning it to somebody else to have me. Because where I come from, like I said, we just take a chitlin' bucket, cut a hole in the top just in case somebody has a dollar or some quarters and whatnot. And we go somewhere and we sit and sing, hoping that we can get more people to hear what we're singing than to just give us something. Because you'll never find me with a tip bucket on my page. I just sing. I sing. I thank God for this opportunity. Um, and since Al wants to jam, can I do one more? Hey, now you guys were supposed to say that a little bit sooner than that. There was kind of like a real bad hesitation there. What do I need to do? Change keys or something? Okay, let me change the keys, Al. Change the keys. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Do you need something to drink? Water? Yes. Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, what do you want? Well, Sparkling like water? A Diet Pepsi? Diet Pepsi, Diet Pepsi? Pepsi? No, I'm, I'm just kidding, I'll take Mountain the Diet Pepsi. Diet? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Al likes, um, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Al likes old stuff. Maybe it's because you're old. Yeah, what do you want? I am old. What do you want? I'm good. I'm good. Pepsi? I'm good. Pepsi? I'm good. You want Thank something? You. No, okay. What do you want? Yeah, help yourself. You guys, there's snacks and drinks. Bathroom is inside to your left. When my dad introduces me to people, he says, Hey, this is this is my son, Danver. At least that's what his mama says. Is that any way to teach your kid? <laughs> By the way, in case you guys are interested, my dad's name is James Johnson, but his stage name uh, is Super Chicken. And he spells it C-H-I-K-A-N, not the usual, the standard spelling. He's a blues ambassador, not only from Clarksdale, but for Mississippi, uh, and appointed from the White House, an official ambassador of the blues for the United States. He goes everywhere um, doing the authentic foot stomping, snuff dipping, and tobacco spitting blues. My dad knows 168 different barnyard fowl. Now that confused me because I just knew that there were just three. The hen, the rooster, and the baby. My dad can tell you all about them. So he um, was um, given the name Super Chicken. And... Um, 
Never made it past sixth grade. He had to work from six to six, from sunup to sundown, for two dollars a day. And he raised his kids with that. That's where I'm from. That's who I am. Somebody from humble beginnings, somebody who knows family. And like I said, for this man to take me in um, when I got here and was going through a situation to welcome me into his household, which is what you guys have done today. That means the world to me. I'll take this everywhere I go. If you give me money, money can be spent. Matter of fact, money is spent before you get it. But what you're doing now, allowing me this opportunity, I'll never ever be able to spend this. I'll never be able to run deplete uh, of this. So I, I'm, I'm taking this experience with me. I'm never gonna forget it. Besides your yard, it looks a lot better than my yard. Too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Nice scenery. <laughs> Looking in all the wrong faces. We go 
Look at him, I get tired. 